Hi everybody, this is Jet Guy. I'm here with the uh, Wanhao Duplicator i3. Uh, I want to talk about a Y-axis mod that I did to the build plate. Um, basically one of the things is the stock system uses the screw and then that just goes through the uh, aluminum heated build plate and then they, they put the washer on the bottom side. Now where, this is the difference is I've added an M3, sorry about the focus here, M3 lock nut to lock it down. And one of the things you've got to do is make sure when you put that washer, if you look at them really close, one side is kind of uh, curved from the way that they're punched out, machined. You want to put the kind of curved side, non-sharp edge towards the, the circuit board because you don't want to cut the traces there. Um, so you put that that way and then you just tighten down the uh, M3 nut all the way against it there. And that makes a adjustable basically like a post and the idea is that the forces can't make it slip so what happens is again you have the washer you put the uh, spring over top which fits easily you know right over top of the nut and uh, kind of helps center it too and then you have the uh, washer which is going to press against the bed plate now what you have to do is when you initially put this in I'll go ahead and insert this into the machine and I'll just do two cross corners here for you as best I can. Sorry about the shaky camera. Uh, so what will happen here is if we put the washer in on this side, you can hear it at first it kind of binds. So what you do is you simply just put it together and then run it up and down a couple times like this. And basically what will happen is that screw will just ever so slightly file the hole. And the main reason you want to do that is when you make a little adjustments, you know, fine adjustments to the screw, you want it to be able to, you know, let the bed move and not kind of catch and stay stuck because you, you'll unscrew the nut and it'll just sit there. And then if you push on the bed, it'll break free. So just go like this on all four corners after you do that and that'll break it free. But the idea is that when the, uh, the actual Y axis moves before uh, because the screw wasn't held in rigid to the plate or to the lower base, uh, it could kind of shift and rock back and forth. And this should eliminate any of that shake now. Uh, it's a positive drive, so little, the, the, the lower base plate of the Y-axis pushes against that, that post that we've now locked into the aluminum and, uh, and moves it forward. And this is really simple. All you need is three M3 M3 nuts. Uh, you know, I use lock nuts just because I like the security of them and they're cheap. I bought a hundred of them off Amazon for like six bucks, uh, you know, for various projects. But uh, this this tip could really make a big difference in your Y-axis. Very simple. If you're adding glass anyway, it takes all of five seconds to add the nuts, put everything back, and you're rocking and rolling again. Thanks for watching.